We've been in a large language model training boom. Uh, that stage is computationally intensive. Your show has been spot on because you have covered how NVIDIA has been defying Moore's law. That describes how compute power has increased by an order of magnitude. Now, NVIDIA is insurmountable in the training area, but now we're moving on to the inference stage, which means really deploying these models. And this is when the model will answer questions, summarize text. Uh, this is this is a new stage in AI. You said 255 billion. You can think of that as zero to 255 billion. Mm. Uh, meaning we're just at the very beginning of this market. Microsoft is reporting 5x growth. Alphabet reported 9x growth in their token usage. You know, trillions of hundreds of trillions of tokens from big tech. Lots of growth. I fully expect this to be a theme in this upcoming earnings season. We've had the training boom, now comes the inference explosion. That's the powerful prediction from Beth Kindig, tech analyst at IO Fund, and it's one every serious investor needs to hear. For the past year, the market has been obsessed with training large language models, where NVIDIA has dominated the spotlight. But according to Kindig, that phase is maturing. The next chapter, inference, the stage where AI models are deployed at scale across industries, running real-time decisions, summarizing data, and powering everything from chatbots to autonomous systems. And this transition isn't just technical, it's seismic. Here's why. Inference demands speed, efficiency, and energy-optimized infrastructure. It shifts capital flows from GPU hoarding to operational AI deployment across the cloud, edge, and enterprise. That's not just a hardware story, it's an architectural reshuffling of the modern data economy. And this evolution is arriving just as interest rates begin stabilizing, inflation continues to cool, and investors rotate out of speculation into utility. Wall Street is no longer rewarding hype. It's looking for execution, scale, and cost efficiency. That's why inference is the inflection point. It's where AI gets real, and the next generation of winners will be defined. In this video, we'll break down three companies perfectly positioned to ride this shift. These aren't the headline names, these are the enablers of the AI deployment era. From silicon to servers, and from hardware design to software optimization, these players are quietly capturing the value others are chasing. Let's begin with a company that's no longer just following the AI revolution, it's helping to shape it. That company is Advanced Micro Devices Inc., ticker symbol AMD. Already a key player in high-performance computing, AMD just made a bold leap forward with a powerful endorsement from none other than Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI. This isn't just a PR boost, it's a strategic partnership that could redefine the competitive landscape of AI inference hardware. For years, NVIDIA has dominated the AI training space, but as Beth Kindig highlighted in a recent interview, we're entering the inference era, the phase where AI models are actually deployed into real-world applications. That's where AMD is stepping up with its MI400 and MI450 series GPUs, built specifically for this next stage. And with OpenAI now collaborating with AMD to co-develop chips optimized for large language model inference, AMD is gaining momentum right where it matters most. The significance goes beyond chip design. AMD is rolling out Helios, a rack-scale AI server architecture powered by 72 MI400 chips, directly targeting NVIDIA's Rubin NVL144 system. In the first quarter of 2025 alone, AMD's data center sales surged over 57% year over year, and with Helio systems hitting the market in 2026, the company is poised for even more rapid expansion. High-performance, high-margin products like these don't just drive revenue, they expand profitability. AMD's approach isn't about trying to out-hype NVIDIA, it's about building an enterprise-first ecosystem optimized for real-world AI deployment. And that's exactly where the market is heading. Towards scalability, power efficiency, and cost-effective performance. With inference workloads exploding and industry leaders like OpenAI aligning with AMD, the company is entering a new era of relevance. This isn't just a competitor, this is a contender in the AI infrastructure race. Next on the list is a company quietly powering the AI revolution from behind the scenes, Super Micro Computer Inc., ticker symbol SMCI. While flashy chip designers get the headlines, it's Super Micro that's building the high-performance, energy-efficient servers that make large-scale AI possible. And despite explosive revenue growth, the stock remains one of the most undervalued in the AI infrastructure space. Supermicro has rapidly scaled its business to match the moment. Just four years ago, quarterly revenue stood around $1 billion. Today, it's consistently pulling in $4 to $5 billion per quarter, 
and that number is expected to push past $7 billion by the end of this year. The company's servers are custom-built for the biggest names in AI, NVIDIA, AMD, and Intel, and Supermicro has maintained deep strategic partnerships with all three. In fact, just last month, the company launched over 30 new products for NVIDIA's Blackwell platform, expanded support for AMD's MI350 GPUs, and achieved immersion cooling certification for Intel's latest Xeon processors. That kind of flexibility and vendor neutrality is rare and highly valuable in a fragmented AI supply chain. Supermicro's recent heavy investment in R&D and CapEx has raised some eyebrows, but that's exactly what's positioning it to lead the next phase of data center expansion. With AI demand surging and cloud giants like Amazon, Meta, and Oracle planning billions in infrastructure upgrades, SMCI's timing couldn't be better. Plus, with a healthy balance sheet, low debt, $2.5 billion in cash, and minimal dilution, Supermicro has the financial strength to scale even further. What makes this story even more compelling is how undervalued the stock remains. Despite being at the center of the AI boom, SMCI trades at a lower price-to-sales ratio than many legacy value stocks like Home Depot or Pfizer. As demand for AI-optimized servers accelerates and profitability improves from its recent investments, Supermicro could be on the verge of a major breakout. It's not just riding the AI wave, it's building the servers the wave runs on, Last but definitely not least is a company that's not just competing in AI infrastructure, it's commanding it with precision. Broadcom Inc., ticker symbol AVGO. Broadcom is delivering results that rival the biggest names in tech, and its position in the AI race is only getting stronger. While NVIDIA and AMD get much of the spotlight, Broadcom has quietly become a core supplier to the world's largest hyperscalers, companies like Google, Amazon, and Microsoft all of whom are now building custom AI chips to reduce their dependence on off-the-shelf solutions. Broadcom's edge lies in its mastery of custom AI accelerators and AI networking, two of the fastest-growing mission-critical components of modern data centers. In its latest quarter, AI revenue surged 46% year-over-year to $4.4 billion, with networking solutions alone accounting for 40% of that growth. Its new Tomahawk 6 switches, with speeds reaching 102.4 terabits per second, are unlocking more efficient AI model training at massive scale. Simply put, Broadcom is building the digital backbone of AI infrastructure, one custom chip and networking switch at a time. But there's more. The company's successful integration of VMware has diversified its revenue stream and given it critical exposure to enterprise software and cloud infrastructure. With that acquisition, Broadcom now has the ability to serve both the hardware and software needs of the AI economy, creating an end-to-end -end tech stack few can match. And while other chip makers ride the cyclical roller coaster, Broadcom's diversified model and cost discipline provide rare stability. Its EBITDA margins are soaring, up to 67%, and free cash flow growth continues to impress, with over $6 billion in Q2 alone. As AI spending continues to scale, especially in inference, Broadcom stands to benefit in ways others can't. It has deep partnerships, unmatched customization capabilities, and a leadership team with a track record of executing flawlessly on both innovation and integration. This isn't just another semiconductor stock, it's a full-stack infrastructure powerhouse at the heart of the AI transformation. As the AI revolution shifts from experimentation to deployment, the companies enabling that transition, across silicon, servers, and systems, are stepping into the spotlight. AMD, Supermicro, and Broadcom aren't chasing trends. They're powering the infrastructure that makes artificial intelligence real. Whether it's AMD's strategic leap into inference with OpenAI, Supermicro's dominance in AI server architecture, or Broadcom's unmatched grip on custom accelerators and networking, each is a foundational force in this next phase of tech. These aren't just growth stories, they're transformation plays. If you're thinking long-term and looking beyond the hype, these are the names to watch. Thanks for tuning in, stay focused, stay sharp, and keep your eye on the companies building the future.